Thank you. Um, Minister Finn Gale must be living in a party value universe when the Taoiseach says additional funding in the budget has been provided for home help hours, while at the same time cuts have been, made, have been announced this week in the form of a suspension of all approvals to home help applications. The HSE has suspended home help hours and new applications despite there being more than 6,000 people on the waiting list for home care support. What a sorry state of affairs is that this is happening during Carers Week when we recognise the Trojan contribution which carers give to people in this country. The HSE confirmed it is to block new applications between now and early November to balance the budget for this year, and no doubt this is directly related to the constant health overspend in the budget ever since you have come to power and ever since every, every before that as well. However, the irony of the situation is that if you stop funding home help hours for a provision of, say, six months, you are only going to exacerbate the problem at the other end. And you know this. I mean, you don't have to tell you because you know it anyway, but you still insist on doing it because it's this government that comes constantly insistent on driving on we have a budget figure and that's it. And that's the way they're going to do it. And you actually, you have to spend money to save money. And that's the, that's the problem. And that's why this, this health service is never, is never going to work. At the current rate, numbers are set to increase even further as demand for services increases and the population ages. The real crux of the problem remains a lack of HSE funding to meet current and growing demand for home help hours. So you are only delaying the inevitable and in fact making it worse. In Donegal, figures for those waiting on home help hours have doubled from last year. Figures from the HSE show that there were 215 clients waiting for home help in Donegal as of January this year, which is an increase of 116 from last year. Furthermore, numbers have been steadily increasing year on year. For example, in December 2016, 139 people were waiting, while in October 2017, 340 people were waiting for home help hour approvals. So there are, and we know this, and every member has said it as well, there's, there's patients lying in hospital in Letterkenny at costing what, probably about €8,000 a week to keep them in there. And you could, you could have them out in the community waiting home help, home help hours for maybe €100 a week. And free, but the problem is, you see, you don't save any money by doing that. You actually spend more money because as soon as that bed becomes free in the hospital, somebody else goes into it, and you have to spend money treating them. So you're actually, you're actually saving money by keeping the beds in the hospital blocked up, and that's how you're saving it, and that's, and that's how the HSE are saving it, because that's, that's the, way, the only way you can save it, because if that bed stays occupied, nobody can get into it, so therefore you, can't, you don't have to spend any money doing any treatment, and you don't have to spend any money on a home help for that person that goes out of the bed, goes out of the hospital, because th that th doesn't have to spend money there either. So that's how, you, that's how you're saving the money. And that's sad, like, because that's, that's a sad reflection, and it means that we can never get right over the situation that th this is going to be happening. That's, the kind of debate that's going to be happening every year for, from now into the future, if it's all going to be based on money and based on that and that only. And until we get over that, until we get over that in this House and we accept that it's going to cost more to deal with the health service and it's going to cost more to get our health services right, and initially it's going to cost more to get it right. And that's the problem, and that's, what, that's where we're, we're going to be stuck. Because until we get th through the people, through the hospitals, into proper home help and living in the communities, then you'll start to see the hospital side of it, things will ease off, and the, the fund pressures will drop down there, and then you'll start to save money. But uh, unfortunately, I think the real problem is why that home help has caused the problem that is and, and the difficulties is, is because you can't privatise it. If you could figure out, and if this government could figure out, and the HSE could figure out a way to give the private sector balls of money to look after home help, this would be sorted out in the morning. And that's the problem I see ultimately is with, with, wrong with it, because you cannot see how you're going to do that, and that's, that's, why, that's why it's not happening. And that's sad, because it's, it's, a, it's the cheapest form of, of care, it's the best form of care, and it's where the people and the communities want it, the families want it, everybody wants it, but you as a government, you can't grasp that and you won't, you won't do it. And then Donegal, or and the HSE in Donegal, have this crazy system where they, can't, they say they can't get people to work on home help because they offer a 10-hour contract for the week, 10 hours. So it's actually for half of what you would get on the dole you get a contract with the HSE, and because the, the hours are spread over the week, you can't sign on, so therefore you, you're, you're completely, it's a waste of time, and they can't get anybody. And you tell the HSE, well, if you offer a 20-hour contract where somebody could actually make a living, and then they could get family income supplement to make up the difference, and they could actually get a wage and go off the dole, and it would be to their advantage to do it, and provide the home help care, 
they won't do it because then again they have to increase the money. But if they could give it the money to the private sector, they would do it in the morning. That's the sad thing.